Hi guys, what's up? Welcome. I hope you guys are having a fabulous, spectacular, bomb, amazing Saturday. Uh, for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys, of course, my TJ Maxx finds for the week. If you guys are new here, I do upload these videos every single Saturday. It's where I go to TJ Maxx and I try to find like bomb makeup products for a very reduced price tag so if you like these kind of videos definitely subscribe i know i say that every single saturday but in case anyone's new here it's like hey what's up how are you you know uh, this week we were pretty successful in finding a nice amount of stuff i from what i remember a lot of Too Faced, some abh uh, more of the gingerbread palettes that we saw last week just a nice amount of goodies definitely let me know if you guys picked up anything a major at your tj maxx for this week or if you're kind of like nah i'm done i'm done all right <laughs> christmas is here I'm, I'm over this um keep me posted also what did i want to say um so i will leave my tj maxx playlist down below in the description box and i think i've done about 77 at this point and i feel like when i'll end up reaching 100 i'll have to do something special like it wouldn't make any sense otherwise it's like reaching a major milestone 100 tj maxx videos what anyways let's go ahead and get started Okay, so firstly, I see TJ Maxx also received the Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy Palette. So we found this last week at Marshall's, but now they have it at TJ. They have a nice amount. That would say about three, four pieces. I don't know if that's as nice as like 100, but three is still like a decent amount. Um, and it's $29.99. They also have some more restocks on Riviera, which is so cool. I love this palette. It's one of the best in ABH. And this one is $24.99. Original value, 42 or 44 I want to say. Also, they are hooking us up with even more major Hangover RX primers from Too Faced. It's the It's So Big size. This one right here has 2.1 fluid ounces of product. The regular size has one fluid ounce and it's I think like 36. This is 2.1 and it is $14.99 here. I bought this a few weeks ago and it was $12.99. So they raised the price by a few bucks, but it's still so good. Ugh. Okay, then this is something new that I haven't seen yet. This is the Sex Hangover. <laughs> um, duo so we get the hangover rx primer and then the better than sex um, <laughs> uh, mascara and both of these are in deluxe sizes i feel like it's a bit pricey a lot of times you can get these as freebies i would have loved if it was maybe 5.99 99 is kind of up there but if you were curious and you just needed these small amounts in your life then maybe it'd be worth it for you to pick up and then of course here are what the products look like i love two face packaging they're always so cute they also have this kit here from Smashbox. We've seen other kits from Smashbox, but I'm like 97% sure we haven't seen this one, which is pretty cool. So we get what? Um, four full size products. So all of these are full size, which is crazy. And it's retailing for $24.99. So we get the full size of the full exposure, yeah, I'm sorry, exposure mascara. Uh, we get a full size of the trio in Goldie Fox, a liquid lipstick in Babe Alert, and then a full size always on gel liner in Fishnet, which is their um, cult classic black. I, I feel like tears are gonna come down my face. It might sound dramatic, but it's so cool to find this here. This just came out September this past year, so about three months ago. I reviewed this on my channel. I love these so much. They all smell amazing. So the white one smells like peppermint bark. Then we have that um, champagne one that smells like eggnog. We also have one that smells like um, spice cake. And, and then that pink one is in sugar plum, and that's what it smells like. These are beautiful on the lips. Um, they're great to wear on their own or with a lipstick. I'll have my review linked down below. So this is only $16.99. Original value is $25. You guys can see the compare price. Um, usually they're wrong with the compare price, but with this one they're right. So happy about this find. It's a loose glitter by ABH in a gorgeous golden shade. I feel like it would be perfect for the holidays. Um, we found a burgundy-ish reddish shade last week. I forgot the name, but this, this one right here is in Star Power, and these are retailing for $4.99 here at TJ. Okay, and then here you guys can see I found a nice amount of these ABH loose highlighters. These also came out within the last six months. I remember I recorded these at Ulta when they just released, but now we have them here at TJ. They're all in the shade Sunset Aura and they're retailing for $5.99 each and I think typically they're ugh, definitely not $8. It's at the, the compare price. I want to say maybe like $20-ish. The packaging is a vibe of its own. I know that they have a few other shades from this line so I'm going to be on the hunt for those. But here's what the shade looks like. It's definitely a bit too deep for my skin tone but I need to make it work. I need it. I need it in my life. <laughs> I also want to show you guys that they stocked up on a ton of ABH bronzers. They're bringing a ton of ABH in. So if you miss out on these, they have them now at TJ. And these are $9.99 each. Hey, there's a hair on it. The set from e.l.f. is so beautifully like presented. I love it. So basically, we get uh, three full-size products. The Daily Face Cleanser, the Daily Hydration 
yeah moisturizer yeah and then the illuminating eye cream i've never tried any of these products i i barely tried any elf skincare products let me know if you, what you guys think about them in general like their skincare stuff wow and this is only 7.99 that's that's pretty cool It'd be great to gift as well because it's presented gorgeously and then they also have this section here of glam glow products they're usually pretty stocked on glam glow here Next, I see that they have the Saint Tropez um, Express Travel Kit. So we get the uh, self tanner in a deluxe size. Uh, we also get the what bronzing face sheet mask as well as a mitt. So it's $13.99 here. I think that's pretty good if you've never tried any of these Saint Tropez tanning products. I hear they're good. I've never tried them, so you'll have to let me know what you think. And then we have a bunch of these Philosophy Take a Deep Breath uh, Oil Free Oxygenating Gel Eye Cream. <laughs> and then it's in an ornament form. And it's $8.99 here at TJ. Well, they also have this from e.l.f. It's a blush in Candid Coral. I love these kind of shades. You guys know I breathe for these colors. <laughs> Mom, I love it. And this is only $2.99. But they actually have a huge section of e.l.f. products, mainly in this area. Some CoverGirl and some other products there. And so many of you guys told me that you love a ton of e.l.f. products. I have to get into it ASAP. Then we have this section here. Sometimes it could be pretty neat. Sometimes it could be pretty picked over. I really wanted one of the Too Faced Do You foundations. We've been seeing that a lot. I think I would be the shade Snow and the two snows that they have here are swatched and pumped, so I'm like, no. Okay, the next thing that I see here is from CoverGirl. This is the full spectrum palette. It's the one that's called So Saturated. There are a nice amount of mid-tone, like um, neutral matte shades. It's not too warm, it's not too cool. Selection of mattes and metallics. And this is retailing for $2.99 here at Marshalls. This is so reflective, so hopefully it doesn't really bother you guys. But this is the Rimmel Magnif Eyes, Magnif Eyes, yeah, Color Edition Palette. So we saw the Spice one last week, which included a ton of warm tone shades, but now we found this one. A few of you guys told me that it's really good quality, so maybe I'll pick it up. And this is only $3.99, which I think is pretty good for so many shades. So we found these at TJ Maxx. I see that they're also stocking up on these at Marshalls. So cute, love them. I feel like a TJ was $16.99. Correct me if I'm wrong. Here it's $14.99. I love finding um, Too Faced kits. They're just always so cute. This is the Too Faced Berry Christmas to you. It's on the bag basically says, you're like very pretty. I'm like, yeah. So this is retailing for $19.99 here at Marshalls. This here's what this bag looks like. It feels okay, not OMG quality, but it's very large. Like probably the size of my head-ish to an extent. Like my head could probably fit in here. <laughs> so here are the few products that are included. We get the... Um, Blush Duo, a full size that'd be better than Sex Mascara, and then the lip gloss is in Yummy Rummy. So two full size products, one deluxe size, and then the bag. And then the Blush Duo is in Strobe Berry. So I see that we have a few products here from Corez. We never found the primer. This is the primer, so cool. There's 6.76 fluid ounces of product in there. It's completely sealed. Let's try to keep it in frame. $6.99. Then we also have the Black Pine 3D Sculpting Firming and Lifting Eye Cream. I've never seen that either that has 0.51 fluid ounces of product and that eye cream is $16.99 and then um, this is something that we did see it's the exfoliating rose cleanser I purchased one a few weeks back from TJ obsessed with it it smells amazing it really exfoliates so nicely it doesn't irritate my skin and I've been really loving it so far and this is $8.99 okay oh my gosh I've never seen TJ like this this is like on another level and that hurts my heart when I see broken ones, broken makeup on the floor. Why? <laughs> How cute are these kits from Quora's? I feel like we're finding a ton of their products for this week, like we did a few weeks back. Okay, so all of these are pretty decently sized. Um, this right here is the body milk. I think this is the full size, 6.76 fluid ounces. The body wash is 8.45 fluid ounces of product, which is a little bit smaller than their typical ones that we usually see, you know? And then we get the hand cream, which is, I think, a full size. So cute, perfect gift, perfect gift. $14.99, that's, uh, I think, maybe a bit up there. But I'm thinking, maybe it's still pretty good. We also have this scent right here, which is in Bergamot Pear, which is one of my favorites. It smells so refreshing and just sweet, but not overpowering. And we get the same kind of products in here as well. Body milk, body wash, hand cream. I can't really tell what scent this is. I want to say lychee. I don't know. Anyway, we get the same few products in here as well. I don't think I've tried this scent from them yet. Looks good. Here we have some of the MAC foundation. So we saw this one in the past. It's the Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15 foundation. Um, and they, these are retailing for $14.99. We've never seen the stick foundations, I do not think. So they have a nice selection here, mainly in the shade NC20, which I think might be my shade or NW20. I really, I don't even remember. Uh, last time I used a MAC foundation was a while ago. So the MAC foundations are $14.99 here. But I wanted to just show you guys that there's only 0.31 um, ounces of product. Usually with a foundation, you'll get 
at least one, maybe a little bit less, but this is like, I don't know, very little. <laughs> I see that they have even more of the ABH loose glitter. So we already found two shades. This is a new one we've never seen. $4.99. It's like a really pretty silver gold, like borderline silver and gold. And this is an electric. It's so beyond cool to see this here at TJ. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. I actually went to the launch party of this. Um, I think it was in January. So, no. It was November last year, so a little bit over a year ago. Um, this one right here is in black brown. Just have that in mind in case you're looking for just a black mascara. The shade names will be up there and you'll be able to see if it's black, black, brown. Um, sometimes I just grab and go and I'm like, shoot, it's like I don't want a black brown, I don't want a black. And this is retailing for $3.99 here. I really like this mascara. It's kind of similar to the Better Than Sex mascara from Too Faced. Um, I think it's pretty good. Bumble and Bubble has this really cute kit out. This is the Summer Style Air Dry um, Kit. So we're getting the shampoo, conditioner, and fine hair styler. They're all in the luxe sizes. It says summer style, but I guess you can use it anytime. Maybe it has like a summery scent though, but I mean, if it smells good, it smells good, you know what I'm saying? I never tried any of their conditioner or shampoo, so I don't know if this is good. Let me know if you guys did. They have a ton of these Estee Lauder Beautiful Eyes Protect Plus Hydrate for Healthy, Youthful Looking Skin Kits. That was a long name. So we get a full size eye cream. Um, what else? The Jamie. mascara and then the advanced night Bobby. serum. So this is the full size, these two are deluxe sizes, sorry about the noise. And this kit is retailing for $29.99, original value, um, it says $65. It's so cool that they have this product here, this is the Lancome Elixir, um, rejuvenating elixir. You guys are gonna faint when you see the price, because I was like, what? So here it's retailing for $249.99, original value $370. I have to read up reviews online about this, I'm curious to know like what it really does. At Marshalls I spotted this kit here from Elizabeth Arden, it's so cute, it's the Pretty Pout Perfectors kit. So we get three sheer lip oils, that's what it states on the back. We haven't seen Elizabeth Arden here in a while, so I thought this was cute to show. She has pretty good stuff. And this is retailing for $14.99 here at Marshalls. Bending down to this cart area, this uh, Marshalls has uh, Alyssa Edwards palette. Um, last time I came here, they didn't have it, and I'm like, why? Uh, but yeah, now they are fully stocked. I really like this, I purchased it last week, $19.99. On the same cart here, <laughs> I guess they didn't put the stuff out yet, but this is from Conair, and this is the True Glow Skin Pod. Kind of similar to the For You Luna, Luna I want to say. I've never tried that one. I've never tried this. I don't know like how they perform on the face. Let us all know if you guys have tried any of them. Um, but it's only $9.99. I mean, it's worth a try if you were curious about something like this. You can use this with your cleanser and it's supposed to give you kind of a deeper clean. And then in case some of you guys might be interested in this, I wanted to show the L50 Piece Full Beauty Set. Um, we get uh, well, a blush, bronzer, and yeah, blush and bronzer palette right here. And then this is an eyeshadow palette. It includes a ton of different shades. Wow, only $6.99. That's very cheap. I spotted another one of the BH Cosmetics palette. This is the Modern and Neutrals palette. There's 28 eyeshadows in here. We found something similar to this last time, which had like, I want to say more fiery, warm tone shades. Someone dropped something. Um, but now we have this one here, and it's retailing for $6.99. How freaking cool is it to find this kit here by Too Faced? It's the set on the peach uh, little kit. So we get two full size products in here and then two deluxe size products. If you have oily skin, you would love this. I personally did not love most of the products in here. I know, I know. I usually love Too Faced, but a lot of these just didn't work out for me except for the mascara. Which could work out if you have oily or dry skin, but I feel like the other products are geared for people who do have oily skin. So this kit here is retailing for $29.99. Okay, so the two deluxe size products are the mist and then the um, primer, the peachy primer. And then the full size products are the mascara and the setting um, powder. For me, I felt like the mist was very, very headachy. Like my my brain felt like it was gonna explode. Um, I just it was very car servicey kind of scent. I just wasn't feeling it. I was so sad that it didn't work out for me. The primer I felt like it sucked the day daylight out of my face, and then the loose powder again it just mattified my skin and i have already very very dry skin mascara i really love so again if you have dry skin i don't think you would like this but if you have oily skin you probably will next up we have this kit here from julep so i think we've seen a few of their kits in the past but i don't think we saw this one it's the trend in 10 work it daytime chic in 10 minutes kit so we basically get i want to say four full-size products it includes one buildable mascara two cream eyeshadows and then um a gel liner and this is crazy because it's literally only $7.99 and I think jeweler products are pretty nice on the skin I haven't tried much from them but I think the one or two products I've tried ages ago were pretty good okay this is just like really adorable I think it's the cutest thing alive if you're into this um, or if you have someone in your life you want to gift it to they would obsess over it. like my niece would go crazy for this basically it's two scented lip balms and it's retailing for $3.99 and then we also have these little ones here as well. This is the vanilla rainbow one. We have cats on this one. 
wait, a cat and a dog, yeah, sorry, um, and it's also $3.99. A few weeks ago, we saw a few of the Makeup Revolution highlighters, um, but I don't recall seeing this one. It's very large. This in specific is in Peach Kiss, and it's $2.99. Then we have one of these Shimmer and Glows by Stila. I don't recall ever seeing this shade. I think we found, like, a gazillion shades already, but I don't think we saw this one. It's $7.99. Here's what it looks like. It's this gorgeous green in the shade Vivid Jade. So it's not the glitter and glow, it's the shimmer and glow. So it's more of like a cream eyeshadow as opposed to more of a, like a glittery um, eyeshadow. Then we have two of these um, lip products from Milk. I think it's called a lip vinyl. V-I-N-Y-L. Don't scream at me, don't scream at me. Um, anyways, these are $4.99 each. I think that they're like glosses. It's in like a squeezy bottle. Really gorgeous shades. The two shades we have are Poppin, which is like a brightish pink, and then Chillin, which is a peachy nude. And then last week we saw one of the Dr. Jart Beauty Bombs, BB Cream basically. This one right here is the black labeled Detox one. Um, oh, it says multi-action skincare plus makeup. Very cool. Um, and it is retailing for $14.99. I don't know if you guys can see up there. I love the packaging. I believe it has a squeezy. Not a squeezy, I'm sorry. It's not squeezy. I believe it has like a pump to it, so it makes it really easy to use. Okay, this is the one that we saw last week. I believe the difference is that this one has SPF 45, and I don't think the other one has SPF. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like the same-ish product. So they have a full stock of these It Cosmetics Heavenly Skin what is this foundation brush it's the number 707 brush i love using the word heavenly as well you guys know my tj maxx series is called heaven at tj maxx because it kind of gets the message across like heavenly like I, I know what this is going to be like i know um this right here is 14 and and i think that this came out fairly recently we have a whole um, selection here so they just stocked up they also have this origins kit here at tj maxx which i thought was pretty cool these are deluxe sizes but we get um one of like everything in a way so starting from the left we have the matte moisturizer the cleansing makeup removing jelly so something you would remove your makeup with the original skin um rose clay mask which i really love we got the nest four playback ones the renewal serum then the checks and balances uh, face wash. So it says original value is 29. Actually, it said 39, but here it's 19.99 at TJ. We also have some of these Eco Tools. I need an airbrush complexion kit. So we get what? The controlled setting brush, the multitasking powder brush, the precision foundation brush, as well as a wedge, which is a spongy guy. Wow, and it's pretty affordable. $6.99, not bad. This looks delicious. It's the Heavenly Skin um, brush. It's the 701 brush, the Bye Bye Pores brush. This is really speaking my language because my pores are huge, so I like need something like this. It looks so good. If the line isn't too long, I'm going to pick it up. I feel like it's a bit up there, but I feel like on Ulta or on It Cosmetic site, this is at least 30 euros above. It's really so cool to see so much IT Cosmetics products here and like good products from them. This is the Superhero Liner. So it looks like it's the same packaging as your like Superhero um, Mascara, I think that's what it's called. Um, but no, it's a, like a liquid felt tip liner in black. And it's only $9.99 here. If I wouldn't suck so bad with using these, I would probably pick it up, but uh, it'd be no point because I just kind of suck. <laughs> We then have some of the Real Technique brushes here. So the one on the left is the Lip Color Plus Blur Brush Kit. So we saw that in the past. I want to say last year at this time, but they're bringing them back. And then we get the Stippling Brush on the right from Real Techniques as well. And they are both retailing for $3.99 each. They also have one of these MAC lipsticks here. It's a satin finish and it's retailing for $7.99, which I think is so cool because these used to be $9.99. And, you know, two bucks is still two bucks. It's in Cherish and based on the color of the um, top of the packaging, you can see that it's more of like a mid-tone, maybe cooler toned um, nude. I actually own this mask. That's so cool. So this is the Clarins SOS Hydra mask. It's retailing for $19.99 here at TJ. It's a full size. Um, 2.3 ounces of product. I liked it. I wasn't obsessed, but I think it did add some form of hydration back into my skin um, Since I do have drier skin, this did help to an extent. It wasn't like again like not like OMG, but not bad I'm on Sephora's website and I see that they have the uh, It Cosmetics Heavenly Skin Bye Bye um, Pores brush and it's 58 bucks Let's have a moment of silence, please. Whoa. <laughs> so this guy just passed and he's like you buying all this makeup and I'm with squinting his eyes. I'm like yeah, man. What do you mean? Why not? Come check my house. You'll see how crazy I am. <laughs> okay, so we do have a nice amount of elf. I'm going to run through them really quickly. We have this Make Me Matte Loose Powder. Um, it says Foundation Adjuster. Really cool. It's $3.99. They did bring in some of these tinted moisturizers by e.l.f. as well. This in specific is an ivory. And these are $2.99 here. 
They also have some of these um, Elf Beautifully Bare Smooth Matte Eyeshadows. So the one on the left is Soft Beige, the one on the right is Blushing Rose. So it's like a cream eyeshadow. You would apply it on the eye, blend it out, and kind of call it day. I don't know if these crease. I've never tried them. Let me know if you guys like these. And these are retailing for $2.99 each. We also have these two palettes from e.l.f. The one on the left is a shimmer palette, so an eyeshadow palette that you would kind of also throw on, kind of cool day. Then on the right, we have a corrective concealer palette, so basically it's for color correcting. These are $2.99 each. They also have the Shiseido Protect and Play, the Active Sun set. So we get the Sun Protection Lotion, the Clear Stick with um, SPF 50, a brightening mask, and then that pinky thingy is pinky thingy, which I'm not really sure what that is, but it also comes like in this really nice orangey plastic bag, which just smells like day camp for me. Love it. And this is $39.99 here. Original value is $67. How yummy does this look? Uh, so it's a little bit smaller than the other body washes I purchased from Chorus, but this is the Bella Flower Tangerine Pink Pepper Scented Body Wash. How amazing does that sound? Like it has a whole bunch of everything that I wouldn't think to put together, but they did and I'm, I'm assuming it smells nice. And this is $5.99 here. I'm just gonna skim through all these products and let me know if you guys see anything new. What is this? I am shocked to my very core. I'm telling you, I don't even know what to say anymore because the things that we find at TJ just blows my mind. So this is the Superhero Eye Transforming Anti-Aging Super Palette. I believe that they sell this on Ulta's website. It is a pretty large palette. It's retailing for $19.99. The packaging is definitely really cool. It reminds me of like Batman or something. So here's what the palette looks like. There are 12 shades that are included in total. It's also organized in a way where you can use it as quads for a specific look. So if you're having a hard time, like, you know, coming up with a look, you can use the first four shades, the middle four shades, and then the last four shades, um, where you can kind of mix and match all these shades together. We do get a selection of mattes and metallics in here, and I love their superhero mascara. Um, I've never tried this, but I don't know, I'm thinking. Next up, I have to show you guys this, of course. I don't know if we sold this. Remind me if we did. So we get two full-size products in here. We get a better than a mascara. This whole week is about that, I feel like. We found so much stuff. <laughs> okay, then we get the Twinkle Twinkle uh, Liquid Eyeshadow. I like both of these products a lot. And this duo was only retailing for $16.99, not bad for two full-size products. So here's what the liquid eyeshadow looks like, and it's in the shade Honey Please. Such a beautiful everyday color. Throw on and kind of go with the mascara. Yes, I mean, look at her eyes. All right, we have the It You Sculpted um, palette. It's possible that we saw this a while ago. I think I maybe found one random piece, but they're fully stocked here today. Um, I think I used to own this, but I decluttered it. Yeah, now, now I remember. It's retailing for $19.99. Pretty good deal, I think, on Ulta. It's $40. I don't remember why I decluttered it. It's been a while. <gasps> okay. Am I excused to get it again? Okay, so once you take it out of the box, here is what the palette looks like. And it is sealed with a plastic, which I love. Because hopefully nobody will open it up and be wasteful. But I believe you get three highlighting shades and th three bronzing shades. I'll throw up a pic on the screen so you guys can see what's up. And then we found this palette a few uh, weeks ago, I want to say. We've never seen this one, though. It's by Mally. It's the Mallywood Eyeshadow Palette. So cool. Oh, I love Mally Beauty. She has amazing products. And this palette's only $4.99. So cheap. The packaging is definitely on point. Very cute. I apologize for the noise. And then here are what the shades look like on it. The inside, we get a bronzing shade. Well, more of a contouring shade, a highlighter shade, and then six eyeshadows from, um, I would say, satin to metallic finishes. I don't believe that there are any. Well, there's only one matte. So that cranberry shade is a matte passionate. Next up, we have this uh, MAC Lip Duo. So we get a full-size lip pencil and then a full-size lipstick, both in Ruby Boo, which is MAC's called Classic Red. And then from the pic, you guys can see that that is how it looks like on the lips. And this is only $14.99 here for two full-size products. That's pretty good. I've tried this shade on in many of my like uh, MAC lipstick swatch videos. So if you, if you watch those, then it's pretty much just like your two, true, two, your true typical like um, red. It's like, I feel like it suits every skin tone. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything that I found at TJ Maxx for this week. Now, let me show you guys literally the two things that I picked up. I don't know what it was. I feel like half the time the lines were from here to literally downtown Miami. Like, <laughs> it was so long, and I'm like, I'm not waiting on this line for 48 minutes. Um, so I ended up just picking up three things. Which I still think is something. I mean, it's not OMG style, but it's still pretty exciting, I guess. First thing I picked up was this um, blush from e.l.f. This is in Candid Coral. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I do wear a ton of corally blushes often. I just love how it looks on the skin. It makes it just look very fresh and doll-like. And I love building it up. Because even though it looks like it's a lot sometimes, it still kind of looks like, damn, you look good, you know? Anyways, um, 
I don't know, I figured, you know what I mean? Very soft, very light in tone though, so I feel like you'd probably have to build it up. But yeah, I don't even know if you guys can see right over there. I think it'll build up really nicely. I like the undertone. It's not too peachy. It's not too nude. It's like in between both. So then I picked up one of the ABH Loose Highlighters. This one right here is in Sunset Aura. They have another one in Snowflake, which I'm on the lookout for. But I haven't been successful in finding that. Now, I'm fully aware that this is probably going to be pretty dark on me. But, I mean, look at the packaging. It's so pretty. For original value, I think it's 24 bucks, But for $6, I'm like, I need to have it in my life. I just need to. I need to start self-tanning. Tan, tanning. Okay, lately, I feel like, I don't know what I'm saying, but I feel like I need to self-tan. Like, I want to self-tan a little bit here and there. I don't feel like it's only a summer thing, and it could be an every time thing. One second. Oh, there's a sifter to it, so when you dump it on the lid, it's not going to be, like, all over the place. But this is so beautiful. I literally took a dot, and look how pigmented it is. It's very reflective. It's very smooth. It's very creamy. Maybe if I mix it with a little bit of a lighter highlighter, it should work out well. But it's it's... I think it should be fine. We'll figure it out. Okay. And then the final thing I picked up was one of the loose um, eyeshadows. Glitter eyeshadows. This one right here is in Star Power. So last week I picked up, I think it was called Sunset Something. I don't remember. It was like a reddish pinky shade. This one right here is more of like a goldeny type of color. I'm not going to swatch it or anything because it doesn't really swatch. It's literally like a loose glitter. You would definitely need to use this with um, glitter glue or some tacky base to have it stick on the eyes. I haven't used my other one yet, but I'm really excited to. So maybe for the holidays, we shall see. But anyways, that is pretty much it. I know not the longest haul of life, but I still hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know if there was anything exciting you guys picked up and I will see you guys in hopefully tomorrow's video. Bye.